Hey guys, I know, still the same hair, still the same outfit. Now everyone knows that I pre-filmed this video, but I have to. Um, first of all, let me just say, like I know, I know, I know, I know, I don't have any excuses, but I have been busy recently, so that's why I haven't really been making a lot of videos. So I actually just want to talk to you guys, because some of you have been asking me, like, you know what, you have promised. And actually I've mentioned this last time that I never want to get bangs because, you know, I don't want the um, commitment of them and having the responsibility of maintaining it, styling it, and cutting it and also I've said in my videos before that I don't ever want to use heat on my hair and I have used heat on my hair just especially on my bangs and on this little layer of my bangs right here and the reason why is because first of all I need to tame my bangs so that's why I need to use heat on my bangs to kind of like let them obey and let them lay flat on my forehead instead of my bangs going in this direction because my parting is always on this side so it kind of gotten used to um, be in this parting right here I've actually used just the medium heat of the blow dryer to uh, keep them in place and all that and I know that this is so unlike me because I made a nice worn before that I was like I'm never gonna use heat on my hair because my hair you know has been heat damaged before but right now I'm like you know what since I'm using heat on my bangs anyway I'm not using heat all over my hair so I was like you know what might as well do some style I know I've ruined my hair before because before I didn't use any heat protection and I was using heat on my hair almost every single day with a really bad quality of a curling iron and a really bad quality of a flat iron before but now all of my curling irons and flat irons are really of good quality and I can trust them that they don't they don't necessarily fry your hair or anything and I also have heat protectants here and I also know how to take care of your hair if you are using heat on it or to maintain that it doesn't look dried out also so that it won't get damaged especially during this hot summer season because this is something that I've noticed you know if you've been following me on my channel my hair has been exactly the same some of you have been telling me as well like why don't you do your hair like this way or that way you know you have a lot of hair to work with and all that and sometimes I really want to do those cute hairstyles but some of them do require a little bit of heat so I can still do them using my no heat curls and all but it will take time if I want to go ahead and just create like an easy hairstyle and I know that probably some of you would be like oh my gosh what happened to her she's like this girl who advocates like using no heat on your hair because it is damaging and it is damaging on your hair using heat on your hair can damage your hair if you are using it consistently using it once in a while let's say if you're if you're getting married if you're going to prom or whatever and you really need to use heat on your hair almost instantly it's not bad to use at least heat once every six or seven months on your hair if you can completely avoid it then that's wonderful and that's great but for me I really want to go ahead and do kind of like different styles on my hair but however the point is I just really want change on my hair so as I've said it started on the bangs and the little layer right here and I'm actually thinking that after um, the long hair photo shoot and all that the spot is still running on my mind I'm not so sure if I'm really going to do it, but who knows, right? I'm actually planning, as I've said, to kind of like try and dye my hair. <laughs> I'm not making any promises, but that's on my mind right now. To do that and all, to kind of like make a little bit of changes here and there. But I'm just saying I'm open to whatever changes that I want to do with my hair and not to be so uptight about it and also I really do like the majority of you because you all have been pretty much supportive with my bangs journey <laughs> because I know that some of you have like really disliked me having bangs and all but I'm like you know what I like my bangs and hair grows anyway so might as well try out something new and different that's like kind of like one of my goals this year to try out something new and something different or something that I haven't done before and I'm not only saying that um, you know on my hair I've applied that in certain areas of my life as well that I want to do I feel like the hair part is like the shallow <laughs> part and probably I don't know maybe next year I'm gonna go ahead and grow up my bangs again but however I do like them I do like the change that is made on my hair and all that
So I'm still going to go with the natural hair care methods. But however, I'm definitely open to using products that are not necessarily all natural. You know, I'm still going to do DIYs and all that. But I really do want to venture out in using different hair care products that aren't necessarily you can label as natural and all that and try that on my hair. So that is it, you all. I hope you all are having a great day. And I will see you on my next video. Bye!